guys, this is DC Lush, and today we're going to be doing a cube review, which is something that I haven't done for a very, 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 when? That long time. That's how long I've, that's how long it's been since I've done a cube review, guys. So, we need to get back into this. We need to do another one of them. So, today we're going to be reviewing a cube that I got a few weeks ago, and is now my main speed cube. We're going to be reviewing the Chi Yi Thunderclap version 2. Now I have the Chi Yi Thunderclap version 1, and this was originally my main speed cube, uh, and then I got this cube, and now it is my main speed cube, so obviously I think this is better than this cube, and uh, we're gonna go into why shortly. But first of all, I want to note a few things about this cube. This is a budget cube. This is something that you want to get if you don't want to spend a lot of money. On most websites, they cost you about nine bucks. Now in comparison to other cubes that are not budget cube, the Moyu Weilong GTS 3M costs $34.99, and the Angstrom Polymer Coated GTS 2M costs $64.99. So cubes are expensive nowadays, guys. But anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into my review of the Thunderclap version 2. So here we have the Thunderclap version 2. As you can clearly tell, I have taken the logo off of the white side because I don't like logos, as I've said many times before. So I got this cube from my friend Brayden, also known as Neba, and basically he said he he basically did nothing with the cube but work it in. Uh, I don't know if he tightened it or not, but when he first gave it to me, it was really tight. I actually had to loosen it up a little bit before I used it, and after I loosened it up, I got that really awesome 10 second average of 5 that you guys saw. Uh, and all really seemed to like and congratulated me on, and I thank you guys for doing that. So after that competition, what I did is I took it home, I took the whole thing apart, centers and everything, and I just washed the whole cube uh, with soap and water, and then I lubricated it with silicone spray. Now, if you're wondering why I use silicone spray, two reasons. Number one, it's cheap. Number two, it works. And I really, well, also number three, I don't have any experience with any of the other lubricants except for Traxxas, and Traxxas really, really sucks. So yeah, I'm not going to be using Traxxas, and really silicone spray, it, it gives me a feel that I really, really like. This cube right now, I mean, it's, it's, it's fast, it's not sluggish, and that's the way that I like my cubes. At least that's the way that I like cubes like this. My absolute ideal cube is a cube that's kind of like the Fangxi Shrangren cubes. You know, just a little bit sandpaper-y, that's how I sort of describe it. It, it, it. It feels like a shape waste puzzle. That's basically what these things feel like. But, you know, this is this is still a pretty good feeling for me. Now, the corner cutting on this cube is pretty good. Uh, it easily cuts over 45 degrees, and if you ever get too far, what will usually happen is it'll reverse corner cut. So that's a sign of a good cube. If, if it can't corner cut, it'll reverse corner cut, unless it locks up like that, which it does sometimes, uh, but really not unless you have, like, a really, really bad... Uh, like you're abusing it really horribly. And I'm not really the roughest cuber, so I guess that kind of, so I guess this kind of works for me. Now some of the differences between this and the Thunderclap version 1 are obviously that this cube has some of the more modern innovations that a lot of cube companies have been adding to their cubes. Uh, one that is most notable is the fact that it has, uh, cubic corners, which are supposed to prevent corner twists, but as you can clearly see, I can, I can corner twist it rather easily. Not quite as easily as this one. Uh, so yeah, the corner twists don't happen nearly as much on this cube, so yeah, that's definitely an improvement over the V1. Also another improvement that I would say it has over the V1 is that it's a whole lot easier to take off these centerpieces. Now I have absolutely no idea why Chi decided that their Thunderclap centerpieces would be this big, uh, but they are extremely difficult to get off on the version 1. Luckily they're both just about as easy to put back on. Now this cube does experience pops every now and then, and the pops can be pretty nasty, so that's one downside of this cube. On the other hand, it's actually a pretty good one-handed cube. Now another difference between this and the Thunderclap version 1 is that the Thunderclap version 1 kind of feels a little bit more blocky than this one. <coughs> also another big difference between these two cubes is I can figure out how to take apart the corner on this thing. I cannot figure out how to take apart the corner on this, so I don't know how I don't know if you can put magnets in here or how you would go about doing that uh, because, I mean, like, I can take apart an edge piece. And by the way, if you want to know what an edge piece looks like, you know, they're pretty similar. They're actually so similar that I can put them into the other pieces. It looks better on the V1 when you put a V2 uh, edge piece in, and on this one it just kind of spreads the, the corners out. So that's not exactly that good. 
But a corner piece, I mean, I can take this out and I can take this apart easily. You know, it's 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 your your, your typical corner piece. But on this one, I have absolutely no idea because there's like this this solid thing right here that's keeping it from splitting apart. I mean, I can kind of split it apart. I can tell that it's supposed to be able to split apart, but I have no idea how to get it to split apart. Now, if you want to see some example solves, well, I have two averages of five with this cube already up on the internet, one from Cajun Cube Clash, one that I actually uploaded last Saturday. Both of them were 10 second solves. This cube has gotten me to the point where I can actually average 10 seconds pretty regularly. So final thoughts on the Thunderclap version 2. It is a pretty darn good budget cube, and I would know because most of the cubes that I buy are budget cubes. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it, it works fairly well. You could absolutely get really good solves on it. There's one thing that I didn't mention about this cube, and that's the fact that it is extremely clacky. So if you don't like a clacky cube, then don't get this cube. But if you're okay with the cube being a little bit clacky, and loud, then this cube is just fine. I personally don't really have a preference. Partially because most of the cubes that I get are not really, really good quality cubes. Just because I just don't really want to spend that much money on a cube when budget cubes work perfectly fine. I mean, like this cube, I would say, I would say this could be used by a world-class cuber. It could be. Uh, I could probably give this to Dylan Miller and he would probably be able to use it. He probably wouldn't like it, but he could probably use it. I would definitely recommend this cube over the Thunderclap version 2, uh, whether it's better than other uh, budget cubes, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but overall, I, I think that this cube is really good and you can get it to uh, feel pretty darn good. So if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money like me on a 3x3, then I would definitely recommend the Thunderclap. But if you can afford one of those other cubes and if you would prefer to have magnets and all those other cool stuff, then yeah, go ahead and get one of the more modern cubes. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was kind of short. I hope it was somewhat informational. I haven't done reviews in a really long time, so if this video sucks, that's why. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please come back next Wednesday for another video for you from me. And this is DC Lesh saying goodbye.